Hey everybody, I was going to show a really easy recipe that I make probably once a month. Um, it is very few ingredients. I'm trying to think of the number, like if I was to advertise this as like three ingredient um, tuna cakes. It, it's technically three, but you add more, but what you're adding you probably already have on hand. So the three main things is canned tuna. I put three cans in this for tonight. Um, I have done four before because sometimes you can get a four pack. I have done four, but um, that makes a lot, like you end up having like a lot left over, which they're still good the next day. I'll explain that. I put one egg in it and half a box of, I know it's probably backwards to you because I'm watching myself so that if I get cut off, I can see, but it's Jiffy corn mix. Um, I have thought I had it at home one time when I got the ingredients and I kind of had to improvise on like cornmeal. Um, I add something to it that, like I've already mixed all of this together. I'm trying to show you guys like the condensed version because this is like something super quick that you can like whip up. My oil is getting really hot. Um, I have this stuff that I just keep in my fridge. It's Trader Joe's organic flaxseed meal. One time, but the night that I had to improvise, I put some of this in there. It stays in the refrigerator. I put it like in smoothies. It's supposed to be really healthy, but I understand that not everybody has access to Trader Joe's, but um, putting it in there made it have like a crispiness that was really good. I've also made like fried green tomatoes in that before and it was really, really good. But um, I'm putting that in there. You do not have to, that is optional. So if you don't live near Trader Joe's or you don't have flaxseed meal on hand, which I understand, um, it's optional. So the main ingredients are tuna, corn muff muffin mix, <laughs> and one egg you want to put the egg in first before you mix everything else i mix mine in my stand mixer which is over on over here but i moved everything here the rest of it is up to you on um like you can play around with this i do cajun seasoning because chris and i like spicy food um here's what the stuff looks like after and the amount of the flax seed was just i sprinkled like a little bit in there um the f that's what I was going to say though. The first time I made these, I did four cans and a whole box of the corn muffin mix, and it was way too much corn muffin mix. It doesn't look like a lot in there right now. Right now, it really just looks like tuna, but trust me, like when you go to baking them or making them, the it like expands. And so, if you put a whole box of the corn muffin mix, it just tastes like cornbread with like a little bit of tuna flavor. So you just want to do a little bit. One time I made these, I did um, the half in here and then I made the fried green tomatoes um, with the other half. So you could still try to like fry something else up. I'm not frying them in deep oil. Like I just have the pan oiled with Pam, but it's not like a deep fry. Like these are just sauteed in the pan kind of thing. And I squeezed, I got these weird mammoth lemons at Aldi the other day. Look how big this is. Like it's like as big as my head. I've gone ahead and cut it into fours because we do like to have lemon on, on top of ours. And I put the lemon in it, I squeeze it in there. If you don't have one of these, I suggest investing in one. I'm pretty sure you can get them at the Dollar Tree. The one that I got was a pack of like three where they like get bigger, but it, you just squeeze that on there and mix it in. Um, okay, so the seasoning that I put in here is Old Bay. Uh, Cajun seasoning and I put some sriracha because Chris likes spicy food and I can handle spicy as well um, I, when I had it all mixed up a minute ago I was like I need some color so I put some dried parsley in it I have fresh parsley that I've put in there before but my fresh parsley right now I have used like all of it up so I need to get another plant I've used it up before it's had time to grow um, so I mixed all of it up I have a lid that came with like a chopper that my mom gave me for vegetables. Um, I sprayed that, filled it. I'll do that right now while I'm talking. Um, fill it. The first time that I did this, well, the first few times I did it, I made the patties with my hand and they weren't very consistent. Some of them burn faster because they're thinner. So it took me a few times of making them to realize I need to be packing that into a lid or a cup type thing. You could use like a measuring cup, like a one cup measuring cup and they would be little ones. But if you don't have anything that resembles this, you could use that. Um, make sure to spray some oil in it. I did that the first time. 
And I'm doing these one at a time to show you, but normally when I make them, I put like three on the pan. I've already done one that's over there on the plate, if you can see that. That's my Aunt Karen's plate. I'll be bringing it to her pretty soon this summer. Um, but I'm just packing like the bottom of it because I want to be able to make, like I want to spread it to have a, a good bit of them. And um, I don't like them super thick. Um, since there's the oil on there, I just take a plate Hopefully this will work. I may need to like push it with my fingers a little bit more. Um, if you're doing this for like a group of people, like if you're having people over and you're making these for people, you could go ahead and do this part like the night before. It did not work, I don't know. It's like the time is sensitive. Um, so that you're getting rid of the difficult steps. Oh, of course it's not working. Hang on. Okay, I may need to use my fork. I thought I had enough oil in there for it to pop right out because that one over there came right off. Now I'm just pulling it away from the sides. Let's see if that worked. I'm gonna be really mad if it doesn't. <laughs> also, my child is asleep in the next room, so my talking might wake her up and she will come in here. I have some candy on hand to hand her if that happens. Okay, the oil is very, very hot. It's probably going to start sizzling as soon as we put it on there. You guys will hear that. Um, let's see. I mean, I'm left-handed, so that was a little awkward. Um, like I said, I usually do about three at a time. What the heck? It's gotten like room temperature, so that's why it would be a good idea to have done this the night before in the refrigerator and then they're easier to maneuver and manipulate around. Like this one's not as pretty as the first one. That figures, because I'm filming right now. Whatever. Um, and you really want to keep an eye on this. I am guilty of having burned them and I just give that one to Chris. He doesn't know. Um, here is the finished product. Something that is great about this recipe um, is these are so hearty because it's like a, it's like bread and the food or the meat. Um, I'm gonna try to flip it just in case because that oil, see, it's pretty dark. Um, these are so hearty that you don't really need to like go all out with sides or like much on the side of sides. Um, I do like a couple times I've done this, like I said, the fried green tomatoes, sometimes I'll do it with coleslaw and put it over coleslaw. You could do that as like a salad too with like some spinach. But whenever I do the coleslaw, um, I do like a sweet dressing in it or a creamy dressing to balance out the spiciness of these. And what I was saying earlier is you can make these any kind of like flavor that you want. Um, I had thought about trying, I have lemon pepper seasoning in my cabinet and I thought about trying that as well because I feel like that would be really good with the tuna, but you could do like um, a Chinese version with like some ginger and soy sauce or something and, uh, or ginger dressing on top. This is getting good. Um, I don't want to like walk away and forget and it burn. Um, the next day, because this will make a lot. The next day when I reheat mine, um, I put it in the microwave for a few seconds to get the chill off and then I put them in the toaster and get that crunch going, which you could put them in the oven essentially to like wake them back up. Um, but that's like a really quick, it takes like two minutes to reheat them. Tonight, um, I'm just going to do them with like a fruit salad. I uh, got distracted from talking about the sides, but it's not something that is too complicated. Um, it's a few ingredients. If you don't have a stand mixer, I'm sure you can still um, just use a spoon or something. Uh, and I was going to show you guys what we like to eat on top of them. I really don't want this to burn. I'm running it through the edges of the pan to try to crisp up the sides. Um, I have never done this in anything other than the cast iron, so I don't know how, I'm sure like you could do it on like a little pan, but just make sure it's non-stick. Um, 
I don't know if you guys can see the consistency, but that little graininess, I'm trying to like, <gasps> almost dropped it. The little graininess <laughs> is the flax. Um, it adds that extra crispiness to it. Um, so, okay, that's a good crisp to it. We usually, like Chris and I will eat like two each and then like whatever salad or whatever I have with it. Um, sometimes Mia likes these, sometimes she does not. Just depends on her mood for the day. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the plate. I have a lemon wedge from the Mammoth Lemon here. And what we really, really, really like on this, which is not something that I was happy about spending money on because there's only like one option in the state of Alabama. So it's like $4, but the Jim and Nick's white sauce on top of these is amazing. Like we had tried so many different like dressings and different things and the white sauce is so good with it because it has like that twang, but it's kind of creamy and it's just like the perfect like balance to go with the cakes. We are almost out of this. So I may like add some Worcestershire sauce to it and like mix it up, I don't know. But so you just can squeeze your lemon on, serve it with whatever you want. So an easy few ingredient meal. Thanks for watching.